好、oh, ，Let's time. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of It's Howling Time with the Howling Wolf. Here, we're gonna give you selections for January ninth, two thousand and twenty. The track I'm gonna do is gonna be the Fairgrounds. Is gonna be race number two for mating, claiming fifteen thousand to ten thousand dollars, going a mile and seventy yards. We got a field of seven running. We got your morning line favorite, which is gonna be the number three, J Rob, at morning line odds at n- two to one. I'm gonna be giving you my two top selections plus my horse to watch. For my top selection, it is gonna be the number six strength at morning line odds at eight to one is by alternation out of a Miz and Mass mare. Last time ran at the fairgrounds on December 28th, going six furlongs for maiden claiming $15,000. Came in fifth by 16th length. Had to go inside path and turdy and got steadied a bit, so got bothered a lot. The time before that, it ran on December 1st at Churchill Downs on a fast track, going six furlongs. For maiden claiming fifteen thousand dollars, got tenth by sixteen and three quarters length. Just didn't have enough or nothing. Ran seventh and lost a lot of ground by then. The last, the time before that, it ran on November fourteenth at Churchill Downs, going a mile distance. For maiden claiming fifteen thousand dollars, got eighth by nineteen and a half length. Got bumped at the start, had to go through and was gaining ground a bit and lost a lot of bit around that second turn. That was the first start. The workouts have been on November twenty fifth. At Churchill Downs, going four furlongs on a fast track with forty nine point eight zero seconds breezing, was the forty third best out of the eighty one workouts. Then the last workout was on December fourteenth at the fairgrounds, going four furlongs on a fast track, was in fifty two point eight zero seconds breezing, was the one hundred and forty ninth best out of the one hundred and fifty one workouts that day. What I see here with this one is they, if it's a fast track, you get to see this one. Maybe make a, maybe lay off and try to be in mid path instead of try to be out there in the lead. If it gets gets a nice clean trip, you'll see. Aubrey Green getting him into position well for this race to be out a bit and maybe stay in a bit so the others could run this race and let the other pace setters and all that just tire out. So with this one again for my top selection, it is the. Number six strength at morning line odds at eight to one. <laughs> For my second choice, it is going to be the number seven conquistador. Show at morning line odds at five to one is by Tisway out of a Master Command mare. The last and only time it ran was on December first at the fairgrounds on the firm turf, going a mile distance for a maiden special weight forty thousand dollars. Got eighth by fourteen and a half length. Had to go inside and was out in met pack. In the back of the pack, so had enough to just come on strong, but was showing the ability, showing on strong down the stretch. Not too much, but enough to show that it had enough. 
to probably do a bit more. This extra 70 yards may help out. The time the workouts have been on October 19th at Indiana was going four furlongs on a fast track was 48 seconds freezing was the best out of the 26 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on November 21st at the fairgrounds going four furlongs and a fast track was in 48.40 seconds breezing was the 11th best out of the 46 workouts that day. What I see here is getting Miguel Mena aboard which is a 12% jockey and the dropping class will help, a small dropping class should help out this this coat come on strong and late especially with the extra 70 yards you'll see that it uh, have enough more ground until that second turn to possibly make that late kicking move to possibly get a better placing so that's what I'm, that's what I see with this one the workouts have been great as the uh, fast workouts just been just the second start which shows some great potential and a better placing in this race with the dropping class. So again, for my second choice, it is the number seven Condistador show at Moyline Odds at five to one. And now for my horse to watch. It is going to be the number five, Soar Like an Eagle. Soar Like an Eagle is at Morning Line Odds is at 8 to 1. Is by Awesome Again out of a Tis Now Mare. The last and only time it ran was on September 21st at Churchill Downs going 6.5 furlongs was for maiden claiming $30,000 was 12 by 25 and a quarter length just had no effect at all in running the race didn't want nothing to do with the race had no factor into it the workouts have been on October 24th at Churchill Downs going three furlongs at a fast track was 38 seconds breezing gallop was the fifth best out of the eight workouts that day. Then the last workout was on January 1st at the fairgrounds going four furlongs on a fast track was in 52 seconds handily gallop was the 35th best out of the 38 workouts that day. Yeah. What I see with this one as my horse to watch and coming on strong late, you'll see a stretch out in distance would be a plus. Has the pedigree for it in the bottom end, so it will show the ability. It's dropping class, small bit dropping class will help with the easier class of horses. So you'll see this one coming on nice and strong and late has the ability to possibly show that it has enough with the longer distance. So with that second turn around, you'll see this one coming on stronger late into that stretch. For I believe. So again, for my horse to watch or slash long shot at the fairgrounds in race number two, Going a mile and 70 yards for made and claiming 15000 to $10,000 is the number five, Soar Like an Eagle at 8 to 1. <laughs> so again, for my selections, my top choice is the number six, Strength at 8 to 1. My second choice is the number seven, Condisador Show at Moneyline Odds at 5 to 1. And my horse to watch slash long shot is the number five, 
Soar like an eagle at more line odds at 8 to 1. And remember, when you're catching with the wolf, it's how. time. Good luck everyone and let's make that money. Good luck everyone with today's races.